model kits today on a bit of paint. It's just a quick job there, I'll just get the paint out of the way. There's the paint. Clear orange are needed for the indicators. Because I'm going to be doing the RC cars and all, they're going to be getting the indicators done. Like the model cars do. Pure metallic red. Dark orange. Because I ran out at this morning and I got another one just there. So just the paint for now. Um, first mail call kit is the 112 scale rider of the bike. Where these runs, runs start the bike. You know when they come off the bike during the GP racing that they do or whatever. Or the TT racing. Um, it's a 112 scale for the 112 scale motorbikes that I have. You know, I have a few. Um, I'm trying to get either, as is now the BMW motorbike K100 that I have, the same as my own motorbike. Well, my father in law who passed of COVID in February this year. Um, he had lost his life and that's who I got my bike off, my K100, was him. So I wanted to do a motorcyclist in his gear and um, just copy all his gear that he used to wear, his grey and black jacket. I've done it in 124 scale but I want to do it in a bigger scale and put it into like a display case and my daughter, she was very close to her granddad so I want to do it for her and him, you know. But it, his new bike when I got the K100, which is gone, is a discontinued uh, motorbike kit, the BMW K100 from Tamir. It's a discontinued motorbike kit in 112 scale. I haven't seen it to be honest in a long time, and every time I did see it pop up, it was gone straight away. They they were very um, sought after kit. But his next bike was a Bandit 1100, or I think it was a 1100 Bandit with the Ferdinand on the front, Suzuki Bandit, or it could have been a 1300, I don't know, or I could be wrong on that now. It was either a 1300 or an 1100 Bandit, it wasn't a 900, I know that for a fact it wasn't a 900, because it was bigger than the 900, and his friend had a 900. But anyway, that's what I want to do with this or another one of these I'll pick up to do where we could use the, like I will get another one of these and I will do my um, father-in-law who's sadly passed away right now um, I will do with him eventually with one of these kits either sitting on the bike because I, I don't know I'm 124 driving a bike and I torn the Yamaha R1 I actually made it look like a bandit I painted it all black and I done the Valentino Rossi that was on it, I turned him into sand it down the um, the back protection stuff and the seal was sanded that all down so it looked like a normal uh, biker's jacket and done it the same colour as his jacket was, grey and black. So uh, yeah I am going to do it on 112 but I want to get the 112 scale mower bike before I do it so I probably will use this one. But I am going to pick up another couple of 112 scale motorcyclists uh, models. They're only 750 each. So that's not bad. For a rider for each bike. And I have a few bikes. So this one is a very expensive kit. It is expensive in a way when you think about it. It's only 124. It's another new new kit that I have. It's 65 euro I paid for this kit. And it's in my online store now. They had the M8 BMW GT3. They had the old Piozo, this one. The old Piozo, this one, what I'm talking about now. 96 Monte Carlo rally car. It's an awesome kit. Great looking kit. Lovely detail. There it is built up on the side. So it's a rather nice, a really nice model. It does come with everything like the extra spare rally wheel that comes with the rally wheel. It comes with the set of mag wheels that you put on it. And it comes with the spare that they come with. All the rally cars come with. 
they have a male fitment like a Tamiya kit so I think new new on Tamiya I know they're mainly Aoshima but I think they have a little uh, I think they all in companies have a hand in each other to be honest you know like they have a part in, they have shares in each other's kits it's like Ravel and Fujimi and all they'll be the same moulds um, so yeah I picked up the Peugeot to add to me 104 me 100 124 sorry lads 124 scale collection of rally cars again more one of the more expensive kits it was the same price as nearly a, of a 116 scale kit I actually all my 116 scale kits were all the same price as this kit and the 124 scale trucks were the same price as this kit so like 65 euro it's not cheap and it's not too ex it's expensive but not too expensive but you can get them in better places or other places like for cheaper but my local hobby has it for 65 euro and i think they've another one in their other shop in town so again no problem that anyway and another kit that i also have but i only got this one for parts and delivery is another calsonic it's not i have a built like that in blue already i'll have a built like that in black i don't know in flat black exactly the same so i have the blue and the black version so this one is mainly like i'm going to use the parts i'd still be able to build a full gtr out of it but i'm going to use parts off it because i the calsonic has nismo parts on it if you didn't know that already the bumpers on Nismo bumpers and all um, side skirts but I have I have R33 Nismo kit I have the R34 Nismo kit and um, I like the way that these wheels come because you can use them as female or male fitment it depends on what you decide you get the peg that goes through the center of that to turn it into a male fitment and if you wanted to use that as a female, you just add a little roundy circle thing to the back of it. So, it's easy enough to turn the wheels into female fitment. The dogs are all barking. So I should be quiet. So that's it, lads. That's my mail call today. Um, sorry I haven't gotten much more. I have a couple of Christmas gifts to go out in the post. I was thinking of actually wait until after the Christmas so that they'd speed up. Do you get me? To be longer in the post, waiting to get to the people if I sent now. Um my update on my uh, artillery group build still the same as the other day. The 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 gun, the battle, the cannon goes both sides up and down thorns um, I have the interior a bit inside it done still don't worry I'll be all getting painted as one like th th this is as far as I've done the Tamiya tank the force tank the rifles are in there glued in place as well as you can see in the ring where the yeah man the sergeant stands um, yeah I have the rubber tracks on I can take them off when I'm painting well, because it's just going to be really just lines because I don't know how to camo things I will go over with the, the olive drab and the khaki or whatever or else sand colour it depends really what I go with so that's where I am with the artillery group built right now there's the sergeant there I'll put his arms on his boots and all be getting painted a different colour and his helmet so that's just the figure and then the, the rocket launch or the missiles for the the holders inside the priest so i'll get that all organized and sorted out very soon what's cool in this is um the decals for on the side of the rocket launchers or the, the rockets themselves you have the little female women that say on them that the artillery seen them for going around 
the rocky, you can use them for going around the rocky. Or you could use it for them um, putting on the side of the tank. But I think I'll use it for like the missile or whatever where it's it has it on the picture of it here on the biggest one. If you see the sand of the, the rocket there, the projectile it has the little lady decal on it. One side, and then on the side there, it has on the on the tank itself. So, like I was saying as well, all the sea parts are found on the beach sprue, and the beach parts are found on the sea sprue. So they mix up the parts. The numbers were correct, but the the sprues were wrong. You know. Um. Also, update. The plane hasn't changed either. The plane is still the same for the um, the, the group build. The Charlie Mac. I have a few little things to fix on it before the um, I have a few little seam lines that are hard to get together and I will probably have to fit, fill in. See, I don't build military that much and I do want to get into it. But I have a lot to learn about it, you know, so. That's the plan for Charlie Mike's group build so far. That's the update on the plane. I don't even think I got a pilot with this kit. Probably why I got extra, they gave me extra photo wedge parts. But I've noticed the photo wedge parts are giving me a lot of hassle trying to fit them because I'm not used to that. They're so small, like, you know. If they were for a car, maybe, like, the brake discs and all, it'd be easier to use. But they're a little bit harder. Also, the buddy build that's not due to be finished till February, I can put on the back slate now for a while, is the Dodge Viper in colour. Have it in silver. I've done it in pure silver, not chrome, just silver. You can see all the Viper badges all stick out and has Dodge on that side of the bumper and then Viper on that side and then uh, Viper on the sides on each side. And that's masking tape covering the skull panel for the window Viper thing. Because it's flat black and so is the inside of the engine bay is flat black. So that's the body of the Viper. I am going to add a GT wing to the Viper when it's done. And this is the chassis. The chassis is painted in dark iron. I have the pulleys in gold. I left the, the crown plated um, discs, calibers. I left the standard crown colour on them. I painted the uh, calipers themselves. I painted black, flat black, and they went over them with gold as well. So um, the interior is going to be black and grey, and so the silver one. So I was at the only bit of looking up on it. The stock wheels. I'll stick the stock wheels on. That's one of the rear wheels. The rear side, uh, the back wheel, basically. So that's them. That's that mail call. That's everything I'm up to date right now. Apart from my RC stuff, my RC stuff is gonna start. It's, I'll start on that as soon as the two group builds are finished. I can start on that because then I know I have to. I can put this buddy build at me and Jeff aside for now because I'm a good bit of it done. It's really the interior and then dressing up the rest of the engine and then it'll be done but I won't rush it because me and Jeff gave ourselves them um, till February to finish it sometime so I can put this now on the back slate and uh, start off on the RC stuff as soon as the military tank and plane is done which is mainly only painting to be done left on that so I'll have a couple of RC video, I'll be building and painting, first of all I'll be painting the 
the E190, the Evo body. I was thinking of doing a black the way the one is on the the um, the model kit that I just built, like the box art. I was thinking of doing it like that, or else why? And then when I was thinking I'll do a white, I was saying at least then when I want to change the colour of it or the look of it, I could always um, use fresh stickers on it then, you know, to cover up any marks or scuffs or whatever. Because the um, clear plastic, I didn't know this and all. I know all you guys that support me from the RC community that this is a bit of cut out, or, like this is a bit of the body I cut off. It, it's not a pre cut body, the E190, because it's on the TT, TT01 chassis, the Ola chassis. So, um, yeah, when I cut this off, I realised I could peel back clear masking. There was clear masking on the plastic. So, that is either to protect any paint from getting on the outside of your body when you're painting the inside. That's what I'm assuming it's for. Any of you guys that are watching this stuff, uh, uh, RC guys, would know. Just can let me know in the comments that that's exactly what it's for or not. The clear film that goes over the clear plastic. Is that to protect any um, paint spillages on the, the body or anything? And I was wondering if you could paint the RC cars with normal paint. Or does it have to be to me it? like the Tamiya bottles like the ones I've had before on the channel or can I use say ordinary automotive paints like this for instance so I use this primer this is an automotive primer but I use this on um, all my models primes great it lays flat dries quick so the, the normal paint of that is actually like this. This is the evil that I started to rebuild just there before I started the group builds. That came red and I stripped the decals off and I'm doing it as the time attack car. So that's the, fi that's the final gloss coat. I'll probably have to fill in a few things because I've noticed when I took off a part of it's chipping bitsy. And the mirrors that I put on this time are way too small because they're supposed to cover in that side here. So I could always just pop them back off. This pillar did break when I was taking it apart. Because I have to put a bit of filler on that anyway. So I will have to give it one more coat of white paint. But that's painted weeks now. This Evo. It's an Evo 7 rally car kit from Tamiya. The red one. Um, turning into a time attack car it was my second build first decal build I never painted the car from day one so that paint that's on it now was the first ever time I got painted so yeah let us know if um, that paint is alright to use on ordinary um, clear plastic RC bodies polyurethane is it polycarbonate or something because the Blitzer Beetle is a hard body, I can use any paint on that, I know that. But the, the Mercedes Evo 190, E Class 190, is actually um, polycarbonate, see through clear plastic. And it's, it's mad because it's not like the, um, the newer ones with the pre cut.